Hey, um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't be so quick to get out of bed if I were you. Uh, if you feel half as bad as you look, then you should just get more rest. No offence. Don't worry, I'll answer everything I'm sure you want to ask. Now, this might come as a surprise, but you're in my basement. Don't worry, though. Uh, I didn't kidnap you. Uh, I just bought you here to protect you. Not, not in like a, oh, I have to protect you from falling in love with other people kind of way, but more like in a, I literally have to physically protect you kind of way. See, I have to keep you safe from a disaster, not a tornado or anything. Uh, at least those disasters go away after a while, and to be honest, are less traumatizing. Actually, uh, and I know this might come as a shock, but your neighbor is a yandere for you. I know, I know, one of the odds, right? I can hardly believe it either, but they really caught my attention. I've often noticed them giggling to themselves and whatnot, and brooding in the corner and things like that. Finally, one day I asked to borrow their notebook because I wasn't paying attention in class and had to cram all the material when they accidentally gave me their diary. You wouldn't believe all the sick and twisted things they wrote in there. They wrote about things like kidnapping you and cutting off your legs so you wouldn't run away, along with a bunch of other real messed up stuff. I would never do that. I would, I would never hurt you. Why cut off your legs when a chain around your ankle just works as well? Not that I'd ever kidnap you. Um, after all, I'm a harmless person without a criminal record. Seriously, they can't prove anything. Uh... If I'm harmless, then why do I have all those guns on the wall? I'm just, I'm just a collector, that's all. Uh, they're just neat to have, you know? Uh, and they aren't even that useful for murder. I mean, take this M1, for instance. It's, it's a World War II rifle. Uh, it's been out of service for decades. It's not something I would use to kill someone. <sighs> that's what non-traceable poisons are for. Not that I have any. I mean... That's what they are for when other people use them, because I certainly don't use them, or have any, especially not in that cabinet. Please don't open it. But I feel like we're getting off topic here. I mean, the, the real freak is your yandere neighbor, not me, right? They're the kind of person who's planning to kill the classmate who confessed to you back in kindergarten all those years ago. I mean, talk about excessive, am I right? Especially when I already know I already blackmailed them to back off. Um, but, yeah, I think you should just stay here for your own safety. I mean, who knows what the Yandere might do? I mean, for, I mean, for one page, they literally just went on and on about how pretty your eyes were, and they just wanted to pluck them out and keep them in a jar. They were really bad for your health. I mean, yeah, your eyes are really pretty, and that's what my replica is for. Uh, I could never pluck out your eyes. I mean, eyes in general are pretty. I don't have a replica of your eyes specifically or anything. And theoretically speaking, if I did have a replica of your eyes, how creeped out would you be on a scale of from 1 to 10? 10 being very creeped out. Oh, that's not so bad. I thought you'd go past 11. Well, anyway, like I was saying, you should really just stay here. For your own safety. Uh, there are so many ways we can pass the time. Uh, I've got some snacks. I have all your favorite movies. I mean, I assume they're your favorite movies because I have a lot of movies. So I assume your favorites are here somewhere. Uh, well, we could sit on the couch together. Maybe even getting a little close. How long are you going to be staying here? Uh, well, it's not going to be safe anytime soon, so maybe uh, forever. Let's be honest, you're not safe as long as that Yandere is still alive, and they'll probably be alive for a very long time since it's so hard to kill a Yandere. I mean, they already know all of your tricks, so you can't really get the jump on them and they... Hey, hey where, where are you going? I, I, I told you it was dangerous. That door is locked. You're not getting out of here. Listen, I know I said I didn't kidnap you, 
but you need to stay here. If you go outside, you're basically guaranteed to get yourself killed by a trash tier yandere. You know, the kind that hurts their lover? Especially without them even cheating. What do you mean a trash tier yandere style yandere? Do you... Do you... Holy shit, do you, do you love yandere's that much? That you're willing to lose your eyes and legs just to be with them? Maybe even your life. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, do I have good news for you? Uh, remember when I said I didn't kidnap you? Uh, that was a lie. This is a kidnapping. Because I love you. Seriously. I, I'd sacrifice my family just to, like, get a head pat from you. Don't tell them I said that. Oh, this is wonderful. Now, you can stay here, and I can keep you safe, and I can possibly get rid of at least half of the guard dogs. And I'm a much better yandere than your neighbor, because, like I said, I'd never hurt you. I mean... I took such extra care in kidnapping you, I made sure the dosages were just right enough to knock you out, but nowhere near enough to make you overdose. Seriously, so many yandere's don't take proper care of their doses. Anyway, I know you probably want to spend lots of time together, believe me I do too, but now that the other yandere isn't a threat that keeps you here with me, I have to go and get rid of them before they kill us all. Don't worry, uh, I'll call in some favors with a few of my friends who are also Yandere's, so we should be able to effectively crush your neighbor through superior numbers if nothing else. I'll be back before you know it, uh, then we can cuddle on the couch and watch movies together. <laughs> you sit tight, uh, I left your favor on the counter, so <laughs> give it a try. Uh, uh, I'll I'll be back before you know it. Uh, I I love you. Bye.